Hey guys, so Oxygen OS 11 for the OnePlus Nord is now official. You can now install the initial beta software and the process is pretty simple. You can check the description for download links and how to guide. So yeah, I can say Oxygen OS 11 is a huge change from the Oxygen OS 10 both in terms of user interface and features. It's like from stock Android to one UI-ish like stock interface. Yeah, there are some features from stock vanilla OS and some features taken from one UI. And this combination is something you'll love. Performance and features plus clean UI at same time. Now lock screen, there are no huge changes but we now have canvas always on display which looks cool. It reminds you of your family and friends. You can also use some cool wallpapers for this. And we also have some themes for always on display. Me, I personally use insight which showcase the usage and unlocks. And this is surely a battery eater. There was total of 8% drop in 8 hours while I was sleeping and same is the case with the OnePlus 8. So that's the reason I don't use always on display but tap on wake. Then we have some smooth animations and a whole new interface which looks really good. New home screen icons, you can do deep customization and every single OnePlus application now has one handed UI meaning title on top and you can access the content from one single hand. Sad part is OnePlus is using dialer and messages from Google which is kinda old and I wish they start using their own dialer and messages which I love. If you're watching this OnePlus, please do consider this request. We then have new notification section, quick settings which looks nice and there's finally a real dark mode. Yeah, it is a legit dark mode, not a theme like what was there in the Oxygen OS 10. So in all the applications, it works perfectly. It's not black but got grayish color and OnePlus plans to fix it with the Oxygen OS 12. Yeah, I like the grayish accent but people want black for battery savings so there it is coming soon. And then we have some small changes like power menu and volume caption option. Camera and gallery got some huge, huge changes. We now have some more settings and features in the camera application for taking images. You can long press to get a preview of recently taken image plus share option for the same. And here are some camera samples which I took after the update and there are surely some changes done. The images are now better and got accurate colors. Finally comes settings which is like got tons of micro settings, we have tons of options, there's customization, display settings, accent, icons, always on display and more. Main focus is on the privacy option, you can now choose which application will access your files and media. If you haven't used an application for a few months, it will revoke all the permission from that application and yeah, there are tons of changes deeply done. So yeah, that's pretty much it, comes with not so latest security patch and the final OTA I wish features latest one and I like the overall interface, performance also fine, not bad, you will surely see a little battery drain and that's cause of more infographics, always on display if you'll use it, but you can always use smart settings like I do, dark mode, plus tap on ambient display to save some battery. This is all guys, thanks so much for watching, like subscribe for latest news and I'll meet you guys in the next one, peace out.